when the Lord uh, shook my little chain uh -huh. and woke me up, I did something about it. All right, uh, man. So don't get mad. Thank you, brother. Don't get mad. Get glad. All right. Uh, and do something about it. Yes. <laughs> but we start talking about health and all those type of things. People start getting a little nervous, maybe a little embarrassed, but I'm not here to embarrass anybody. I'm here to help you because the Lord can't use you if you sit. Come on. Huh? Help me, Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. One amen. 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 Nobody know I always got you. God, thank yes. you so much. God will always be your witness. Yes, God can't will. use you if you sit Come on. and diseased. Come um, on now. Amen. Un unable to function. Come on. Amen. Uh, Especially you ministers. Come on. Amen. Y'all got to stay in shape. Yeah. Right. Some of the demons you fighting will knock you down Woo. and drag you out, huh? Woo. And kick you out in the parking lot like a soccer ball. Yeah. Yeah. You're not careful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Tell the truth. The prayer lines that, that, that we have today are not like the prayer lines we had about 20 years ago. Amen. You could identify some of these things, knew what they wore Woo. and what have you. Amen. But now they come dressed all kinds of ways. We got folks doing all kinds of crazy yeah. things. Yeah. And you've got to be prepared for it both spiritually and physically. Huh? That's right. So many preachers and ministers and whomever, they, they, they take care of the spiritual self, right. but they don't take care of their physical That's self. That's right. right. And this body is your chariot. This body yes. is your vehicle yes. that carries the power of God in you, the love of God in you, the grace of God. Hallelujah. Everything that's involved in him, this is what carries it. Yes. And if it can't get where it needs to go, then you're in trouble. Huh? So we're going to talk today about the ministry and health. I head up a group called Fitness and Fellowship. Okay. Oh, Amen. You like that, huh? Yeah. All right. Give me that. Like that. That's, that's, that's confirmation. That's excellent. Got up a thing called Fitness and Fellowship. And what we do is we come together, uh, we exercise, we pray in, we pray out. Some of you may have seen some of the pictures that I posted on Facebook. Uh, we get up, we go and praise the Lord. And we do exercises and all that kind of stuff. God bless you. Okay. And so uh, that's a group that I have. If you guys are interested in going up, let's just let, it, let me know. And uh, we can hook you up and get you in. But uh, I'm determined, amen. I, I don't want to leave here before my time. That's right. Uh, that's right. Uh, some, some of these preachers, I mean, my guys, there, there comes a time when you got to get rid of all that. Boy, y'all ain't going to like this. Come on, with Come on, I like it. <laughs> Tell it. Uh, all that old greasy chicken and stuff. Come on. And don't get me wrong. Let's see, let me tell you something. That's right. I learned, I learned how to deal with this and not go crazy behind it. Anybody ever been on a diet? Yeah, I have. And you were on the diet. The diet wasn't working. Well, actually, the diet was working, but your attitude was bad about it. <laughs> huh? Uh -huh. I mean, I was on a diet. I was losing weight and everything. But my attitude was bad. Yes. Yeah. But I found a way to marry the two, and I'll show you later on in the presentation. Oh, okay. I have until 620. Is that what it is? 620? Yeah, well, we have a time here. Yeah, 20 minutes. That's good. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20 so, minutes. I don't, you're good. Okay, so that would be 630 or 620. She has you. She has time. Who has, who's that? Maria. She's walking one, around. Where, who's Maria? She's outside. <laughs> she's walking around well, with the sign. Go, fans now, since go she's ahead. Outside, I get go ahead. Just fall. <laughs> you good. So she'll let me know when I got like yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Gonna, you, you know what, preachers? Is, it, it, no matter how good it sounds, you know, and how how the Lord is moving, you got to be obedient to the time he's giving you. Huh? I don't Amen. care if the, if, if the Lord done, done, done lifted you up, off, elevated you off the ground. Come huh? on. You still got to get permission. Right. Huh? And you got to be in order. Oh, you got to come on. Come on, no. No, Go ahead. Right. That's, that's for that other class. No, it's for this one. For me. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> praise God. You got you to be in order. Hmm. And, and so many preachers get up and say, oh, but, but the Lord was just tugging on me, so I had to go in there for 30 minutes. You know, no, 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 brother. You out of order. I got 20 minutes. Praise God. Okay. So um, I'm going to stay within the time frame. I can get it in. And uh, sometimes it don't take all that know-how. Sometimes your shortest messages are your best ones. Huh? Yes. Amen. It don't take a whole lot of time for the Holy Ghost to move. So now we're going to get into this. And, and, and once again, don't get angry. Um, uh, uh, I just want you to know that I'm, that I'm trying to help you. Because Lord knows I had to help myself in the same situation. I did something about it. Now when we start talking about health and we start talking about things that, um, uh, that, that govern our... Oh, oh Lord. So basically we're going to yeah. find uh, finding the balance of spiritual and physical health. Huh? Mm -hmm. Finding a balance 
with 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 spiritual and and physical health. Amen. They run hand in hand. Yes. If you let one go or the other one go, okay. you're, you're you're unequally yoked. You're yes. all balanced. Huh? Yes. And so we want to be able to do that. If you look in your book, uh, we're dealing with uh, that same subject. Uh, one of the scriptures in your book, and I've got mine over there, but I don't I don't need it. Uh, and the scripture says, "Beloved, I pray that you may prosper yes. in all things." And, yes. and yes. be in health, yes. just as your soul prospers, John, third, uh, uh, third John uh, 1 through 2. So I, I would that you would prosper in all things and be in good health. Yes. Yeah. You know, I don't want you praying for me and you coughing all on me and coughing well, on and, you know, and, and are you wheezing and then, you know, I don't know, do I need to pray for you <laughs> while, while you praying? Come on, somebody. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so, so, so it's not enough just to prosper, but you also want to be in good health. Uh, so whether you drink, eat, eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. That's right. Hallelujah. That's now, right. The, the minute you start sitting down at the table and getting ready to eat, especially around Thanksgiving, Christmas time, and you know, uh, Big Mama and them is all around the table and don't cook up a whole bunch of stuff, you, you've got to sit down and, and, and ask yourself, uh, does my plate glorify God? That's good. That's right. Huh? That's good. Or I'm because see, some of y'all act like the spirit of gluttony ain't, ain't a sin. It huh? is. But we got some gluttony. Oh, we'll just eat up everything that's there because it's there. Yes. Huh? Amen. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Oh. I'll do out. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do all to the glory of God. So, Lord, when I sit down to eat, God, my God, I mean, and food, food. Some of y'all eat yourself into a food coma. Who's getting the glory out of that? Yeah, yeah. You ever see somebody that eat so much and they're sitting there and they're gone? So, those are the things that keep us. Uh, uh, off kilter, it keeps us big, it keeps us unhealthy, and what yes. have you. For ye were bought with a prize, yes. with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. When we talk about glorifying God, we're talking about uh, His likeness, His fame, uh, His glory. Yes. Uh, is, 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 is Him manifested in you? Yes. Are people able to see God in you with through your physical body? Yes. Amen. Right tonight, huh? Amen. That's good. Well, y'all was just praising me and yesterday and, uh -huh. and the ego thing, you know. But uh, <laughs> those biscuits are not your amigo. That's right. That's right. Oh. Yeah. That's right. Praise God. Help us, God. And does my body glorify God? Other words, when people see me, amen, are they able to see God manifested in my body, in my physical self? Yes. Okay. Y'all get Amen. that? Amen. Uh -huh. See, this is, you don't even, I'm, I'm so glad you have this because folks That's don't want to go here because it's not really popular. Right. Huh? Right. That's probably why you got me up because you know I wouldn't be afraid to say it, huh? Say it. God bless you because, and then, <laughs> I, and, 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 and you know where I am because, and you know where I'm going with this yes. and you'll see in a few minutes. Pastors, your physical health matters too, okay? And you've got to learn that, 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 you, can, you can't preach and go to all these different things and don't get the proper rest and all those things. So I wrote this a few things down. Can, can everybody see that? Amen. Our longevity in ministry can be cut short by poor health. Mm -hmm. huh? That's right. Amen. Praise God. If you're overweight, I knew some pastors who just ate and just ate themselves to death. <laughs> uh, me and Venus were talking. Amen. Yeah. And they, they go to all these banquets, you know, and, 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 and then... Uh, Mother Turner Green or made a play and Bishop so-and-so's house is having something and you go over and you just eat and eat and our longevity and ministry can be cut short if our health isn't right. They right. don't do any exercising. Right. Huh? Just eat and, and preach. Yeah. Eat and preach. Yeah. And so when you do that, you are cutting yourself short as it relates to your health and, and something has to be done. I think I was talking to Venus last night mm -hmm. and um, I... Um, I, 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 I agree with her. I've been reading up on how all these preachers are like dying in the, from in the pulpit. Yeah. Having heart attacks. Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. you know, all that ain't bad food. Some of that's just sin. But some of it, yeah. hey amen, is... <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, I believe there's going to be a preacher killing here pretty soon with some of these people. Anyway, uh -huh. that's another message, huh? Uh -huh. uh, with all these preachers doing all these little crazy things, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Our sharpness of mind is affected by what we eat and our activity level. Okay. Huh? You got to watch what you eat. Yes. Salty foods, all, mm -hmm. all these sweets. I, I love sweets. Yeah. I love. That's, 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 my, that's my problem. Mm -hmm. I love sweets. But, Pastor, your physical health matters. 
You can't eat a whole lot of junk, and especially now. And we don't know what they're putting in food you now. You sure don't. Mm. Huh? The devil <laughs> putting all kind of crazy all stuff, kind of stuff. Uh, in food. Dr. Richards, I'm glad you look like you look, but nice and sure. You know, praise God. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we, we, we need to watch what we consume and what we put in our bodies. Huh? We challenge others to live healthy lives, so we should set an example. Yes. Huh? Yes. Physician, heal thyself. Hmm. You running around healing everybody and, and, and you sick and, 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 and all those type of things, it doesn't make sense. The gospel doesn't flow freely when you don't represent what you're preaching. Wow. Huh? Yeah. Our physical energy level rises to the demands of ministry if we are in shape. Yes. So if God's not going to put no more than what you what, what you can, your your she's almost said overweight. Your 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 well, some people are obese. Uh, God can only use you to a certain extent because God loves you. Don't want to kill you off by giving you two more than what you can bear. Our physical energy level rises to the demands of ministry if we are in shape. Uh -huh. Amen. So the stronger you get, the more He trusts you with. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Our bodies are temples too, created by the master craftsman placed under our stewardship. Yeah. How are you handling your body? What are you yeah. doing with your body? Yes. Huh? Praise God. Y'all still love me? All right. Yes, yes sir. That's all right. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Pastors, your physical health matters. I, lo I love this scripture. I love this scripture. 1 Corinthians 9, 6, 26 to 27. Thus I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. Hmm. No, I drive my body and I train it for hmm. fear that after having preached to others, hmm. I myself should be disqualified. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Woo! Y'all get that? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Yes, some of these things I didn't even know was in the word or they were in the word. I never treated it that way. Hmm. So, uh, hallelujah, I, 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 that I myself should be disqualified. In other words, you've got to practice what you preach. Huh? You've got to practice what you preach. Moving on. Bring your flesh under subjection. All right. Bring your flesh, flesh. under subjection. Yeah. Matthew 26, 41. Bring Watch and pray. Subject. So that you will not fall into temptation. Yes. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit wants to get up in the morning and go to the gym. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And the flesh is looking at you like, are you crazy? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Have you lost your mind? Uh huh. Huh? And then if you push yourself up and you get up, there's been times when I pushed myself to get up and just sat there on the edge of the bed and didn't move. Hmm. So who's going to get the victory? Is it going to be your spirit? Or is it going to be your flesh? Yes. Spirit. Huh? The yeah. enemy does not want you in shape. That's right. The enemy wants you puny and scroungly and overweight and all those type of things. And so, the, 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 But the spirit knows what you need. Your yeah. spirit is fed by the word of God. Your spirit is in love with God and all those things. And so we've got to learn to get the victory over the, over the flesh. Yes. Yeah. Some of us just thought that was against women and men and lust and all that kind of stuff. But no, your body too. Yeah, your body will fight with you. Mm -hmm. huh? you I tried. To, I tried to eat healthy, and I was eating granola bars and all that kind of stuff, and trying to stay in shape. And boy, I was about to lose my mind. It was like I was eating cardboard. You know, wow. I was living off the taste of the air. You know, puffy, 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 wheat, and all that kind of stuff. And my flesh rebelled. It rebelled. But I found out something: that the more you practice something, the better you get at it. Amen. The more you hang in there, just like anything else, the better you get at it. So after a while, my body got used to waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning and getting ready to go to the gym. As a matter of fact, before the alarm went off, I don't even use the alarm clock no more. The, 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 my, my, my body now has become accustomed to it. I guess my body after a while will say, hey, well, I guess that's what you're going to do. We, we might as well just keep on this. Let's go with it. And so I jump up now, and I'm ready to go to the gym at 5 o'clock. 4 o'clock, get up, 5 o'clock in the gym. Huh? Mm -hmm. Amen. They call it 24 hour fitness. You ought to be able to find one hour out of 24 to work your body. Mm. Huh? Amen. 30 minutes to just take yourself a walk. Yeah. Mm. Huh? 30 minutes, 15 minutes just to sit and do some sort of a stretching exercise, those type of things. So the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I'm not doing it on time. But the flesh is weak. Time. Okay, okay. Praise God. Bring your flesh under subjection. Flesh, you're going to do what I tell you to do. You're going to behave. You don't dictate to me what I do and where I go and how yes. I do things. I'm in charge of you, body. You yes. do as I say so. Yes. Huh? Yes. 
And if you don't have that strength and have the power to take over, you know, what needs to, what needs to be, then you're going to find yourself just like the rest of the folks suffering and breathing hard and, yeah. and going through all kinds of changes in and out of the hospital, heart yeah, attacks sure. and, and everything else. Yeah. Praise God. Isaiah 40, 29, 31, he gives power to the faint. I, like, I just kind of like this rendition. But they sure have a lot of different interpretations in the Bible now, don't they? Mm -hmm. They got all kinds. I mean, it was only like about three, but now it's about 123. Yeah. He gives power to the faint, abundant strength to the weak. Though young men faint and grow weary, the youth stagger and fall. They that hope in the Lord or wait on the Lord, he will new, renew their strength. They will soar uh, on wings of eagles. They will run and not grow weary, walk and oh, not God faint. Says. Now, y'all, when I talk to you, I'm telling you something that I, that I, 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 I the reason why I think uh, Dr. Lee even had me to come up here and do this, she knows that I work out and I've been in the gym uh, quite a bit for the last few years. But there's a reason how I got there. Before I got there, I, 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 just, I just didn't eat right. Um, I, I was always in decent shape, and I figured as long as I wasn't sick, I was all right. But there are some things that will sneak up on you if you're not careful, and at your wellest moment, you can be sick enough to die. Uh, huh? Uh, you can be sick enough to die. You may be feeling good and going good, and, and that's the way it was for me. I was doing fine. I was doing fine. And then one day, I got out of bed, put one foot on the floor, the other foot on the floor, stood up, and fell flat on my face. Uh, a full-blown stroke. Feeling good, doing good, look, looking good, huh? <laughs> and was in stroke mode. <laughs> in stroke mode. Yes. In your wellness moment, you can be sick enough to die. Mm. I had three stroke strokes in 24 hours. Wow. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. And you know what that came from? Shot Putting up. all that salt. I, I, I would put salt on food before I even tasted it. Mm. And putting all that salt on my food, huh? Mm. I figured that 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 it, I, they didn't season it for me, so I'm gonna season it for myself. Yes. And I put salt on all that food, so I had three strokes in 24 hours. I was completely paralyzed on my right hand side. Couldn't move. Couldn't move. Couldn't move in a stroke mode. I was 75 pounds overweight. I was borderline diabetic. My blood pressure at the time of of of, of the stroke was 240 over 30, 130. Anybody know what that means? Uh, Dr. Yeah. Lyles, that, that, that's pretty much checking out of here. What did you say? Yeah. Wow. 240? Yes. Yeah. And I went I went, I had and I had one stroke at home. When I got to Kaiser, I had two strikes in the, two strokes in the ER. Mm. And when I laid there in that bed, God see sometimes God has to take you in because he loves you so much. You know, you just don't get it, you just don't want to act right. Sometimes he's got to take you down before he really brings you up. And as I laid in that hospital bed, I began to realize you need to start changing your habits. Your eating habits need to change. I had candy bars everywhere. I'd hide candy bars. Huh? And nowhere I hid them. <laughs> so I could go back. And I'd, I'd have candy bars in the refrigerator everywhere. I love candy. So I kept, I was eating candy, putting salt on everything, mm -hmm. eating all kind of crazy foods. I, I love me some pork chops. Huh? All right, all right. But Lord have mercy, that stuff will kill you. Wow. Huh? That stuff will kill you. But what I learned was that I, I, I didn't have to give up a whole lot. Some of the things I had to do was do in moderation. Now, I have a pork chop every now and then. I have some bacon every now and then, but it might be once a week. Mm -hmm. huh? okay. With that exercise that I'm doing, huh? So the stuff doesn't sit there. Praise God. So I'm staying fit at 66. That's me right there. All right, all right. Ah, so I'm amen. Like, hey, hey. Huh? <laughs> Philippians 4, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So with the strength of Jesus, I begin to work on myself and get myself together and started going to the gym. I'm in the gym every morning because, Lord, I want to live. I want yes. to be alive. Yes. I want to preach effectively. Yes. I don't want to preach like I'm having an asthma attack or anything. Yes. But I want to be able to stand up there and pray. Yes. If the line is all the way down to Brookshire and, and Downing, let, let me be able to stand in that line that whole time yes. and pray for everybody that needs to be prayed for. Yes. So here's the things you have to do. i got five minutes. Here's the things you have to do. Exercise daily. Exercise daily. Bring your flesh under, under subjection. The book has some other things in it for you. Here's some things that may not be in the book. Exercise daily. Huh? Yes. Stay consistent. Yes. <laughs> we talking about, you talking about my arms? Is it, is it, oh, no, Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? You, you, I'm 66 years old, y'all. 
66. Amen. Yes. And the young folks on my job, I run circles around them. Wow. First one in, last one to leave. Yes. And pass them up doing everything. God will keep you if you want to be kept. Yeah. Huh? Amen. God will clean you up. And I feel good. I can yes. breathe. I, 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 I'm, I'm not, and, and I had, I used to have arthritis in my hands, but now that I'm exercising, well, you've got to keep these old bones moving. Yes. Honey, yes. when you've got movement and activities in your limbs and everything, those things will come back to life. Can these old bones, these old dry bones, live again? Yes, they can. Yes, they Praise can. God. Stay consistent. Go every day. I, that, that, that's what I do. I, I, I practice it. I missed a few days. I got right back into it again. Thank these you. are some steps. Challenge yourself. Ooh, Challenge. Challenge. These are the steps of Santa Monica. Yeah, that's right. That's me. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything else, but I'm showing you what Jesus can do yes, when you're 66. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some of y'all are 26 and can't make them stairs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And those stairs go all the way. Challenge yourself. They go all the way up here, and there's another level, and then another level. Whoa. By the time you get, this is the Santa Monica stairs. You know, who knows where they are? It's the Santa Monica yeah. stairs. You've been there? And there's another level. By the time you get to the top, you're overlooking all of, all of Santa Monica and the ocean. I did that. I went up and down those stairs 10 times. Wow. Thank you, Lord. In the name Thank of Jesus. You. Challenging Jesus. myself. The first Thank time I could only get up three times. Thank you. But then I thought about it and I pondered. You, I went to the gym and started working the stair and the step. I wanted to challenge myself. So I had a goal in mind that keeps you out there. It keeps you busy. It keeps you doing things. So I went up and down those stairs ten times. Praise God. Find accountability partners. Yes. This is part of my group right here, the guys that work with fitness and fellowship. Yes. You need accountability partners. And we rag on each other. If you don't show up for the gym, we talk about you on Facebook and everything. Where, where is he? Huh? He didn't show up. He was a no-show today. Huh? <laughs> That's my group. Good. 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 Wow. And so with that episode, sometimes I didn't want to go, but I didn't want them talking about me. I didn't want to get fronted off. So I went. Praise yeah, God. Next, yeah. encourage yourself. If they don't show up, you need to show up. Yes. Amen. Then you see me playing racquetball. Up against the wall by myself. Partner yeah. didn't even show. Yeah. So sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Yeah. Praise God. Good. Man, I'm, Excellent. <laughs> I'm getting to work out right now. Come on. Praise God. <laughs> All you need, bring your flesh on the subjection. So here's another way I challenge myself. And I do this. Now, you guys don't have to do this. There's no one diet for everybody anyway. you got to find out what works for, work you. for you. So what I do is I challenge myself every month. So and, and, and then I repeat it as I go throughout the entire year. In January, I went vegan for one month. <laughs> huh? And then in February, I went back to eat anything I wanted to, but I couldn't eat any sweets or junk food. Mm -hmm. huh? Then in March, I was vegetarian. I ate no meat, all leafy greens and all that kind of stuff. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then in April, no red meat. And then I repeat the process yeah. for the entire year. Yeah. So now uh, I'm, I'm doing something. I'm challenging myself. Good. I've got to stick to it. Uh, I'm, I'm preaching it to everybody else, so I've got to do it. I can't stand up here and lie. Yeah. And so God has given me a form. This is just Good. me. This is just y'all can mix it and match it and do whatever yes. you want to do. But do something, huh? Do something. do something. All right. This is for the men. 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 This, this, is, this is something you got to do. I know my time is running out. This is something you got to do. If you don't do it, hey amen, you're going to find yourself in trouble. Uh, I, was, I had a little scare here a while back. But you have to get a prostate exam. Cancer is the most common, uh, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men in the United States. It's also the second leading cause of cancer death in men. One in six men will be diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. Over 28,000 Men die each year from prostate cancer, and they didn't have to die. Mm -hmm. But most men don't want to get that. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't. I stayed away from that for a long time. Uh -huh. And then when it finally happened, man, oh, oh my God, I felt violated. I, I, you know, I, I, I cried out like a wild yak when the man okay. did the procedure. I, I just didn't want to do it. But thank God I did because they caught something just in time. Wow! Don't you know mm. the devil is working overtime on your body right now? While you sleep, the devil is creeping in and wanting to. That, oh, that was that was just being kind of funny. That's not true. Don't don't go to Walmart, Walmart looking for that. Okay. Uh, exercise, dance, stay consistent, challenge. Now here's what, uh, another thing I do. I juice. I juice. Some of y'all been thinking about it. I know you have. Huh? But I juice faithfully. That's how, I don't like vegetables that much. That's just how I get it. Okay. A little protein powder if I worked out. I'm down to one high blood sugar, blood pressure pill. I used to take three. I only take one now. By the end of this year, I'll be taking none because I've done it all through fruits and vegetables and exercise. You don't need no mess medicine. Amen. That's right. We, some of y'all are too medicated. And you know what? I do commercials and everything else with doctors, and they laugh at, at the patients. Some of the stuff is only a placebo. Some, some of the things you think that's healing you is absolutely not a sugar pill. Yeah. And you're paying all that money for it. It's a sugar pill. You're paying all that money for it, and it's nothing. 
that sometimes you know, as a man thinking, so is he. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, my backer. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I saw Venus yesterday. We were talking yesterday. So I am, yeah, I ain't claiming nothing. Huh? I may have the symptoms of, 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 of soreness in my arm or whatever it is, but I'm denying the right for it to be there. Amen. I'm not claiming to my mild arthritis. No, that ain't mine. Mm -hmm. I ain't claiming. Real quick, I'm almost done. Just do it. Which step have you reached today? I won't, I won't do it. I can't do it. I want to do it. How do I do it? I'll try to do it. I can do it. I will do it. I did it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Huh? Praise God. Amen. If you mess up, don't give up. Second Timothy, I have completed well. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Huh? Y'all yes. got to run this. It's a race. You got to run this. And in my final slide, if you mess up, don't give up. And then you can look just like this. What you <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>